Hello, I hope everybody had a great and meaningful Rosh Hashanah. So I'm going to go over the Torah readings that we read, at least in Eretz Yisrael, and I'm guessing they're probably the same in Hutzlaretz. These are special Torah readings that happened on Rosh Hashanah, which this year fell on Shabbat. So there was actually seven aliyot and a maftir, and then of course there's special haftorot. I have not made uh, videos about the Haftorahs, so I'm not going to include that in this, um, these videos. But we do have Aliyahs to go through, and I want to go over my thoughts on that. So let's get rolling. So the first reading um, is uh, from Bereshi, Genesis chapter 21. And it starts with verse Aleph. With, and the Lord remembered Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken. So you're jumping like right into like the Bereshit story of Avram and Sarah. Sarah was barren, and then she, uh, God said that she was going to have, and she was, it says very clearly in the Torah that she was done having her period. Her and Avram were significantly old, over than 80 years old. So she was way beyond the age of being able to have uh, children, as we understand biology. And she even said, so God said she's going to have a, a, a baby, and she laughed. Um, but then they, she was told this, and a year later it actually happened. So this is so this this when the when she when she was remembered was on Rosh Hashanah, which is why we read it today. But okay, we're going to continue. And the Lord remembered Sarah as He had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as He had spoken. And Sarah conceived and bore a son to Avram in his old age. So we're also saying that he was old; it wasn't just her. At the time in which God had spoken to him. And Avram named his son, who he had been born to him, whom Sarah had born to him, Isaac. So we're being very, very specific because Avram had another child. He had a child with Hagar. And that son's name was Ishmael. But here we're very, very specific. The Torah is telling him the son was born to him, to Avram, and it was born to Sarah, and it was born to Avram. It wasn't anybody else's child. And his name was Yitzhak, Isaac. And Avram circumcised the son Isaac, Yitzhak, when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him, because before he had received the commandment to circumcise himself, Ishmael was already 13 and Avram was 90. So, but it said to do it on the eighth day, but they were already past that. They were already over those ages. So if you ever convert to Judaism, doesn't matter what age you are and you're a male, you have to do a, a circumcision of some sort. Of course, if you've already been circumcised and you can't be, you know, can't have two circumcisions, so they take a little a teapot dom, a little drop of blood, and then you still have to go to the mikvah in that case. And of course, you should always ask uh, an Orthodox rabbi about anything that I'm saying when it comes to actual Jewish laws and Jewish rituals, because I'm not a rabbi. I'm just a guy who like tries to live within the Jewish world as just a regular dude. And that's kind of like the idea of this commentary is it's really just for everybody else. It's just for all the like the people out there who are reading the Bible, maybe for the first or second time. And these are my ideas and my thoughts as I'm reading it. Now, I've read these verses many times, specifically the story, because we read it once a year. In Rosh first of all, we read it once a year when we when we get to it in Brashi because we read the whole five books and we read it once a year in Rosh Hashanah. So the story is pretty well known by most anybody in the, like, let's call Shomer Shabbat.t world, it's an extremely well-known story because we read about it at least minimally twice a year. Okay, so that's the end of the first Leah. It's very short, only four verses. 